All right, so here we are again looking at the uh, app screen chop. Just quickly going to demonstrate how it works. It opens up with a uh, whiteboard. I can use my pens at the bottom and write on it. But I'm going to bring in a photo. I'm going to choose from a library. You'll saw, see I can also take a picture. Um, because I'm recording as I'm doing this, I'm not going to demo that because it's bad video. Um, me fumbling around and my fingers getting in the way. But it's fairly easy to use and I think you can handle that. So I'm just going to choose from a camera roll. Um, now when it comes in you'll see I can zoom and rotate it right now I've got a couple of different lines here on uh, my screen what that means is my picture's bigger than the screen so when I click done it's actually going to uh, fill up the whole screen but I don't see the whole picture picture if I take two fingers and scroll up I can see the rest of it so you depending on your image you may need to uh, resize that and zoom in before you continue on if I didn't want this picture, I could click Remove Background, and it deletes it. But I'm going to go ahead and add it back in and continue on. Um, so from here, uh, you see I have an eraser here. That just kind of cleans the screen. From here, I can just kind of write on here if I want to talk about the bat or you know he's wearing a helmet. Okay. And I can do all of this before I hit record, and so this is all ready. And then if I want to record, all I have to do is hit the record button, and it's going to count down. And now I'm recording, and as I record, if I wanted to draw a picture around this player here, I can do that. And I can do any of these things. I can pause it. One of the things when I pause, you'll notice as soon as I hit record again, there's no countdown. It's going to start recording pretty much immediately. So one of the things when you're paused is if you need to change pen colors or styles, you can tap on it and do that. And so it's a better video if you pause it rather than having this be part of your video. You'll see I can have my eraser if I want to, oops, let me tap on it, there we go. If I want to erase something, an individual thing, or again, I can clear the whole thing and my screen is clear. If I hit record, I can continue on until I am done with my video. Once I'm done, I hit stop and it's going to immediately go into a preview and I don't know if my volume's up on this or not let's see okay it should be recording, oh, let me play it there uh, mine's having a challenge playing within the software so if it's what you want then you can click on share uh, if it is not you can uh, click on the trash can, now to delete it you have to hold down that trash can, I'm going to click on share and what it's going to do is it's going to send it to a web page. You can see up here in the corner, this is where some of the different movies that I've created um, go to. And when I click on it, then I'll see the different list of them. Now, it does assign it to a web page, so this is going up on the internet. If I want to view it, uh, I can demonstrate some of these other ones. Who knows what they are, but I'll tap on that and it's connecting, it's actually, you can see, um, it's opening it up here in the screen chop, and I can play a previous video or not, depending on my software here. Um, there we go. But if I actually wanted the um, link, I can open it up in Safari as well. And now I'll get the link um, and be able to send it to parents or whoever would want this video. So, just real quick how Screen Chomp works. Uh, mine's having a few issues here, but for the most part, it does work pretty well. So, hope this helps.